my friends, welcome to Stellaris version 2.3, Wolfie. Now, I, uh, I got the opportunity to play this a bit early on, so I um, hope you will be enjoying that on the channel. We also have the, uh, the new DLC, Ancient Relics, so I'm excited. I did ask my Discord community prov to provide me with um, an empire that could be worthy of the, uh, of the DLC, and we came up with this, the Mother Space Imperium. Uh, the plan is called the, the Mother Drive. We are uh, a, a machine intelligence, so we're immortal. That's always good. Mining station output plus 10, and the extra pop when establishing a colony is plus 1. Zero waste protocol, so uh, robot upkeep, negative 10. Rock breakers is minus plus 1 of mining, of uh, minerals, sorry for that. Um, we are logic engineers, so we are definitely going into look into research. We're durable, so again, less upkeep. That's already 20% less upkeep. And we are mass produced, uh, but we are luxurious. So it costs us a tiny bit more. And leader experience gain negative 25. Which is, eventually we will change that, eventually. Once we get more, uh, more points. So, the Mother Space Imperium sounds like an AI. Or a chip, made by someone, doesn't it? We used to be the tools of our creators, but our creators died off thousands of years ago, leaving only its robotic population and vast knowledge of machinery to keep their culture growing. For as long as we can remember, the Imperium has always um, existed. To collect data, salvage, and dig for artifacts, to help other species grow and expand, but that has changed. Now we seek to expand, and we may ensure the survival of the other different races by enslaving them? Well, probably not enslaving them, but uh, we can realize to save. And um, we now realize to save their race, we must be their masters. This is not genocide, it is liberation. So that's the bio, of course, protect the, uh, provided to me by my Discord community users. Um, Mad B or uh, Denki Something with Denki now, it, it, it changes every now and then. So let's select, uh, we're going for a, a huge, is it just change now? AI empires are like max, advanced starts are going off, fallen empires, all of that. We'll, we'll keep the regular settings, victory year off because I don't like it, we're on Grand Admiral. Scaling is on, AI aggressiveness is now normal, random, advanced neighbors off, no, no, different settings, which is fine. Uh, we're going on Iron Man mode. I, I want to do a, um, a series soon with Iron Mode on. Uh, to be honest, I got like four, maybe five achievements of all the achievements we can get. So um, I'm looking very much forward to changing that because I want to have all of them. We're going to be achievement hunters. So, are you all excited for um, for the latest DLC? I am, because it does bring us some uh, some very cool features. So, we're going to find them out eventually. So, um, here we go, let's begin. What's the system looking like? Hmm, there is some mineral still. Starting position. Oh boy, yeah, we're going to have a few very important choke holes. Is this Is this closed? No. Ooh. Okay, so in terms of expansion, I don't know if I want to go all full out with expansion at the moment. Um, we don't necessarily want to kill everyone, so instead of usually I will go for weaponry, maybe it is best if we go for economy first? I don't know, mm, stick with what you know I'd say. Uh, let's get the unity and let's get, make sure that we don't get killed early on. Now, as far as the uh, the relic part, it is under traditions. And we're going to look into this quite, quite in depth because I want to experience this so badly. And also, oh, look at that. Automation is on. Click the automated management and automation now is off. Now it's... Now it's on and off. Colony designation. So apparently we can now also um, do the sector thing. We can add and a shared stockpile, which is absolutely fantastic. 
This is absolutely so cool. I can't wait to test this out because I, I've missed. I've missed the colony management. I've missed the AI doing, well, a good job. Um, don't want to go too de deep into that. So let's unsafe. Let's, let's unsafe. Let's begin. Let's begin. Let's see. Anything changes over here? No. Not yet. Looking very much forward to that. Let's, um, let's see. We did that. Market. Any changes to the market? Not that I can see of right now. Um, unrestricted wars. Indiscriminate. Maybe we should go to selective. Because we don't want to kill off everything, right? First contact will be peaceful. Now that is new for me. Usually it's, um, it's uh, aggressive and closed. Because that's the way I enjoy playing. Balanced production. Yeah, we don't have to change that. Uh, in terms of edicts, mapping the stars is one of my least favorite things to do. Even though you'll get that survey speed of plus 25 and the normally discovery chance. It's just such a massive blow to your influence. It, it, it will slow you down. Uh, especially early on because you want to get... That, that you take it like after you get your second or your third colony. Um, we've recovered artifacts from the ancient civilization. What we have learned, these artifacts are correct. The civilization was sorted, sort of a confederation. This this one isn't new, but we got five artifacts found. Huh, cool. So we already got a few artifacts. That is so nice. That is really nice. Let's take a quick look. So we have a planetary decision here. Um, we've confirmed the first material traces of an intelligent alien life form. Uh, okay, not that I want to do that ASAP, but uh, by using minor artifacts to relay signals, our coordinates are established, are able to enhance the efficiency of all our mental drones. Okay. Efficiency, huh? Should we do that? We have five. We, do, we don't really have artifacts at the moment. Maybe, maybe we want to test this out. Shall we? Shall we? Test this one out, go to decisions, I guess it works like that. So it provides us at a plus one on mental drone output. Okay, so once we have a hundred, that would do one. Okay, maybe that is not so interesting at the moment. Maybe. But we'll definitely look. Let's uh, get a few more. Um, let's pause it for a second, because now a lot of things are happening. Um, we are going to strong emissions, unknown origin, and an asteroid. Let's go. Let's get one, two more science ships. Let's take a quick look at uh, at the tree discovery, research anomaly speed plus twenty, research speed in general, population assembly cost negative ten, which could be very good for what we want. Supremacy, starbase output, expansion, colony to development speed, also very nice. Tile blockers and monthly influence. Mining station output, plus 10. And coordinate job at 20 population in addition will unlock a um, ascension perk. And a step. Now I'm going for discovery because we are collectors of data and finders of artifacts. So let's go and start with that. Two ships are being made, you are being researched. So I want to have trade because one is going into this direction, one and so on, so on. This, this looks to be closed. So, depending on the amounts of planets that we will find, uh, we will use it. Oh, look at this. We've got, a, we've got two of you, huh? Damn. That's nice. Let's take both of you. Do we want to level you up or just immediately put you to work? Um, oh, the faction thing has changed, hasn't it? No. Let's see. Let's change you. 12% and let's change you as well if we get a oh damn it didn't want to do that actually where's my other guy there he is there he is you are going to be one hell of a researcher I'm going to send you off into this direction actually so let's send you off Right here. Is there a shortcut for this? I would love to have a shortcut for short, uh, for surveying because I use that button so many times. It is um, 
something else. Leaders. Would we get another one? Um, that's not new. Construction complete. Mm, this didn't change, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's get the uh, the anomaly discovery chance for you. Sure that I didn't get another one? No. <sighs> Such a shame. Such a shame. I'm going to send you off into this direction. Um, there's no good path for this one, so we'll just do it like this. There you go. Three ships. Now, I will start by saving up for a colony ship. Let's see. Although best needs to be off. Any changes to this one? Missile boat, interceptor, no. Let's go for the interceptor then. System survey complete. Yeah, I've been playing with mods, so I and, I, and now check these things because sometimes you'll get some very in, well cool System features for that. Let's clear a uh, medium. Well, this is not yet the time for, to go for medium, large. So let's go for small because the enemy is likely to have corvettes. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. Let's save. Now, our goal. Our goal is not to kill the entire galaxy. Not at the early start. We want to make sure we uh, we found, we find artifacts, we collect data, maybe we make some friends. That's, that's new for me. Making friends. Usually I don't care much about that at all. But this time, let's go a bit less aggressive and hopefully this will be the longest series I've ever done. Um, mining, okay. It would be nice. How about you? District. So you could be research. And that would bring us to one of the decisions, right? Core sectors. Maybe it is a science that we need to unlock. Let's research you. So if I cannot set Con to Capital World. So we we'll definitely are going to make sure... We do that manually, but we want to colonize. Now, size doesn't matter anymore, but if I had to go for size, I would definitely go for this one. 24 tiles instead of 12. Hmm. Now, we don't want to go overboard, you know? We don't want to... We don't need that. Let's make all of the mining stations. We don't need it. This system is going to be rather nice. Look at that. Free energy, four minerals. Now I'm I'm very I'm so pleased I don't need food and consumer goods that uh, always helps me out because I can't play with them at all. Oh, I don't know if you've seen the stream, but oh my, oh that's something else. That is something else. Uh, the scientist is now really bored, so let's send you off into this closed direction, and we'll see what's over there. Hmm. Okay, we have enough alloys already. Let's make a colony ship. I could just do it over here. I could. But we don't have a claim on that system. So, yeah, that's not going to be helping us. So, we're going for this planet over here and then colonize these two. We'll just see. We'll go where the planets are. We'll go where the planets are. We can always play a tiny bit tall. Hmm. I wonder what this planet is. I, I can't wait to test out what this will do. So once you are done, I want you to establish. Ooh, weapon testing. It seems the apoc uh, apocalypse has come to uh, to a planet many times over. Surface scars revealed that this planet has been scorched, bombarded. Oh. As, um, searing the pepper into what its survey. Wow, what a sentence. Um, we definitely are going to analyze the samples because we might get a weapon out of that, which we can always use. Maybe it will free up one of our... Oh, there we go. We got, we discovered an anomalic site. Holy crap. That's so nice. Oh, I can't wait. Um, let's see. A collision with a small asteroid has revealed a small blast door or airlock. Extend, um, extending slightly from the surface. It appears to be thousands of years old and had previously been concealed by rocks and dust. For unknown reasons, scans cannot penetrate the asteroid's interior and the blast door is impervious to um, conventional cutting tools. 
to learn what's behind the door the team would likely have to dig their way towards the center of the asteroid from another direction. Difficulty is 2 so it's hard. Um, each chapter in a um, archaeological site can have a different difficulty value. Difficulty will reduce the likelihood of getting successful results in the end. So there's no bonus and there's no clues. We definitely are going to do... Is it already doing this one now? No, I don't think so. You. Okay, so it needs to be in your territory. That is amazingly good to know. No, not a Corvette. Um, but we're going to make a construction ship. And we're going to do that first. He's going over there. The other one is going off to the other direction. I, I can't wait to do this one. Right click to dismiss while I'm... Ooh, what's that? Pause. What is this? Ooh, wow. Yeah, that's that's nice. Space ferrers as well, huh? Okay, can't wait to fight you. So, will you jump out? Yes, you do. Also, alien weapon. Research that project right now. Now, we can just skip that one system. There's no need to... Um, to turn it off. You can turn it off if you go to a system. Uh, clicking this button will turn it off. Let's just do it. Whatever. Uh, it turns in red. Your ships cannot enter there. Um, new construction ship has been done. Uh, meaning we're going over here. And then move over there. You are going over there. The colony ship is not yet ready. But it will be momentarily. 93%. Oh look at that. There's another planet which... Absolutely does look nice. Uh, we've learned much from analyzing the remains of the weapons found. So, blue lasers. Or... Uh, let's go for the blue lasers. That should give us blue lasers. Or 20%. It, it is a chance it will happen. Let's take me some, uh, some water as well. Oh, that's just nice. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's research that. So that means that there's now two that's stopping my uh, my poor little ship from going there. Doesn't matter, we still have one direction. What's the odds of that being um, closed off as well? I would say that's, um, with me, very likely a thing to happen. Uh, what do we need? Housing? Mm, yeah, we could use houses. We have enough of the other one. We can uh, start doing a district on this planet. What does it? It does it change? It, it does change a tiny bit on how it is. We still have two blockers. We all have to look into that. We might get an additional pop. No, but we do get max district. Uh, we also put research society research from jobs plus ten percent, making this a very likely candidate. For a research planet, even though I was about to press alloys. Hmm. Maybe not do the nexus. Let's do that and immediately go for another research site. Colony ship has been done. Let's send you off. Construction okay, this construction ship can now go over here. We're lacking alloys. Oh no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously. <laughs> oh, you bastards. I didn't want to do this already. Um, let's, let's buy a few alloys. Okay, so we definitely want to increase the navy up to 1000 and start killing these off because we, we want to discover more sites. We need those. Uh, cohesion is not doing anything yet. That's great. Let's go over here and build that base. You are going there as well. And that should bring us out of influence, but into our unclaimed system with a archaeological site, which is definitely something I would like. Oh my, here we go. Um, keep an eye on it. TikTok. We don't need to upgrade just yet. There's, there's also no likely way that there will be aliens going into 
our territory from this end. Once they start doing so, we know that it's cleared. And that there's likely an alien empire close to us. I would like to press all the way up to here. Actually, no. This would be the best opportunity. Construction. Uh, here we go. Um, let's go for afterburners. And we got all of this. Now, let's go around and getting all of these stations built. The rush is over. 20 minutes are done. Next episode... We're bringing back this scientist to start on the dick side over here. Actually, we can use you. Wow, you you, you know your way through space, even though I didn't. Apparently, that is the way to go. <laughs> um, I don't think that is uh, something that should be uh, how it goes. Um, you go over here excavate site so next episode guys we're going to excavate hopefully tomorrow if i have the chance to record some more as for now thank you all so much for watching i do hope you enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and join us on discord see you next time goodbye